there are lots of different types of jobs in agriculture. If you say agriculture to most people, they'll just think, oh, that's farming. It is, but there's a lot more that goes into it. And some jobs in agriculture actually require more managerial skills than you might realize, and it could require education as well beyond high school that you would need in order to do some of these jobs. Uh, so what you would have to know is, well, what type of a managerial job do you have in agriculture? It can be a supervisor. You could be in charge of kind of what we call an industrial farm, where it isn't a personal place, but it's part of more of an industry. I think a lot with livestock, with things like this, that that's kind of where agriculture has gone in today's world. And so if you're managing, it's kind of like the business side of agriculture, then that's what kind of what we're talking about here in a supervisory ex uh, role. Now, obviously, you're going to need experience in agriculture. In order to have a managerial role in it, you're going to have to have experience on a farm, on working with if it's cattle or different crops, and have that experience. So you can't just jump into a managerial role. That's not going to happen. You're going to have to kind of work your way up the ladder. But if you're interested in agriculture and it's something you enjoy doing and you're successful at it, you might find that as you keep going and you have more responsibilities, it might push you towards a managerial role. But agriculture experience is huge. Having the skills, knowing, knowing the job, and this goes without saying. So in agriculture, if you have planted, if you have raised livestock, if you have done different things and, and gone through that whole process and know the different types of seeds, for instance, that are out there, then that is a skill you're going to need in order to run the entire operation. So again, a manager, an agricultural manager or a supervisor is somebody who kind of has the big picture mentality and any little problem, if you're a manager or a supervisor, you're dealing with problems a lot. So any little problem that comes down the pike, you should be able to handle and you should be able to understand because you've done it. So if this is something that you're interested in, you need that experience, that hands-on experience on an actual farm doing this work. The knowledge would, be, would come from both on-site and possibly educational experiences too. Knowledge can be anything from knowing the type of pests that can affect certain types of crops, to knowing drought control, to knowing irrigation systems, to knowing how to put tile into a field to help drainage. So anything like that to knowing combines. How, if a combine breaks down, exactly how do you go about fixing that? Or what is the life of a certain piece of equipment that you can expect? How much do things cost? All of that is part of your knowledge of agriculture. And so the more you learn, and again, you can do this both in a classroom, but also on site, then that will help you become like a supervisor or a manager if that's what you would want to do. Other considerations, and if you're saying, what, Washington, D.C., you're also going to have to know the government regulations as well. So if you think about being a manager or a supervisor of a large-scale farm operation, you're going to need to know what type of regulations are out there, for instance, for pesticides. Uh, DDT is not allowed as a pesticide anymore. So you would have to know what regulations are out there. You would also have to know what grants are available that possibly the government can help you in a certain situation. Or let's say there's a massive drought or a massive flood where you are and you need government support. You need emergency support. So you would have to be cognizant of, of how you would go about actually achieving that. So that's also part of being a manager as well. And so what education do you need? Well, it depends on what, what you actually want to do. If you want to be a supervisor, a manager position, you might need to get an associate's degree. That would be like a two-year degree at a community college. And a lot of community colleges have ag programs. A lot of vocational schools that are attached to high schools, I'm thinking of the vocational school that's actually attached to my high school, has ag programs where they will teach you agricultural things and that education can help move you forward if, if a managerial role is something you would be interested in the future. Also, if you want to be more of a naturalist, more of an expert, then that might require you to move forward with a bachelor's degree because now you're talking more science and more understanding the bigger picture of how actually things grow and, and maybe you want to be working with seeds or something later on. If that's the case, you might need a four-year degree. But most agricultural managers, you're looking at probably a two-year degree, an associate's degree, and a lot of on-the-job training. 
So for instance, you could be working at a farm, you could be getting all that experience, and at the same time working on an associate's degree on the side, and then those two kind of culminate into you moving up into a managerial position in agriculture. We'll see you next time. Thank you.